Today we're going to be talking about some of the newly released Marvel news that has come out in the last couple weeks and just give a little info and my thoughts on what I think about the upcoming state of Marvel's future. Now given the state of Marvel since everything after Endgame, there's a lot of hesitant fans out there just like myself that are not running to the theater anymore to go watch the next Marvel movie. You know, back in the day, every single one that came out, it was a must watch, mark your calendar, go to opening night if you could, you know, it was an event. Now I feel like some of the stuff they've released, Marvel is trying to recapture that with certain upcoming projects because a lot of the stuff, like I said, since Endgame has been mid to bad. Now don't get me wrong, in between there has been very good stuff like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and more recently Deadpool and Wolverine. They were absolutely awesome, but overall, since Endgame, Marvel has been a disappointment. Now first, we, Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Doctor Doom. Now, I mean, my thoughts on this, I do really like it. I, it, but it all depends on how they do it, man. I mean, that's a very easy statement to say, but one point of view you got, they're bringing him back as a cash grab. They know that's gonna be a way to get more butts in the seats at the theaters is, you know, the dream casted Iron Man, Marvel's golden boy coming back, but now he's playing a villain. So it's like, ooh, I think we do know this is gonna be some form variant of Tony Stark. So I think this could lead for a awesome way for our characters to have to fight with that. You had Tony Stark, the savior of your universe, and then years later, when we go into the new Avengers movies, we have a different timeline variant coming in as Doctor Doom with the same face trying to destroy the universe, and it's gonna be very, very mentally challenging for the heroes to try to deal with going up against that. I think that is like the main way that it would be good, but if they go any way of reviving that Iron Man or if they they could really mess this up so that's my thoughts on it um, I'm hesitant but I am hopeful because I think they could knock it out of the park especially with the Russo brothers directing it now with Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom we got announced Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars which will be the conclusion of the Infinity Saga and then we will kind of get into a hard reboot of the Marvel Cinematic Universe which I'm very excited for I'm excited to see the you know 20 plus years of these character stories closing out and I really hope they you know give us another amazing ending to this like Endgame seemed to be the ending for that phase but this is the ending for everything now Doomsday I hope it focuses a lot on Doctor Doom and in really fleshing out Robert Downey Jr's new character and Secret Wars I hope it's just absolutely amazing pretty much it now there's just a couple new things that I want to talk about Captain America Brave New World comes out I think February of 2025 Every single event, San Diego Comic Con, D23, they have released little bits of footage here and there, especially lately, of Harrison Ford's Red Hulk got revealed. Looks absolutely awesome. Um, I'm very hopeful that Sam Wilson as the new Captain America is taken to the next level. I hope he gets the serum. I hope he becomes even more badass. And I hope it kind of mirrors Winter Soldier. That's the vibe I've gotten so far kind of the militaristic, political, hand-to-hand -hand combat type of vibe. That's what I've gotten so far, same as Winter Soldier, so I hope it knocks it out of the park like that movie. And I, like I said, I'm going into this hesitant, but with some optimism because I think this is has a chance to be good like most of the other Captain America movies. Now, Fantastic Four, we just got the suit reveal with Joseph Quinn. Um, I don't know how to feel about this yet. I know it's retro and based in the 60s. Um, we will see. I know this is going to be called First Steps, so we will also, I mean, that's an interesting name, but we'll see what has to go with that. I'm curious to see how they're going to intertwine the Fantastic Four into Avengers Zoom Days and Secret Wars, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see, man, because there's like no info right now. I'm not the biggest, biggest Fantastic Four fan, but I mean, I love the potential of what it could be. I loved the old Fox ones back in the day, and I think it could be really cool. I hope Pedro Pascal does a good job. I think Joseph Quinn's gonna do a great job, and I hope the 1960s setting ends up going well with the vibe of the story. Now, last but not least, I wanna talk about the next Tom Holland Spider-Man project, so Spider-Man 4, pretty much. Recently, I think some stuff got said that it might be another like big multiverse movie, and I'm kind of bummed, man, because I really wanted to see Tom Holland, you know. At the end of No Way Home, you had him kind of getting the new suit. Everyone's forgetting about him. He's by himself now. He's older. He's mature. He has loss. He has... I thought we were going to get to see kind of a more gritty, like maybe street-level Spider-Man stuff that maybe leads into a bigger threat. 
I don't want the whole movie to be a multiverse movie, you know? I, I don't know, I hope Tom Holland does a good job, I, but when you're introducing so many other characters, man, it's kind of hard to let just Spider-Man shine, and I, I really hope that that can happen and we get more of a street level thing that can maybe lead into Avengers Doom Days and Secret Wars, like I said. I think this is set to come out sometime next year. I hope they do a good job. Spider-Man is my favorite comic book character. I hope they find a good medium of how to make this fourth one very good because I think they could, I think it could be the best one yet. Alright guys, that'll do it for today's video. Comment down below which one of the things that I talked about, how do you feel about it? Which one are you most excited for? Give all of your thoughts and comments down below. I will gladly respond and talk to you about it. I'm most excited for Robert Downey Jr., but like I said, definitely a lot of hesitation when with, that comes with that. But let me know your thoughts down below. I hope all of you guys have a blessed, blessed day. I'll see you in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I do lots of unboxings like this, reviews and analysis. You gotta make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post more videos.